somehow we got to deal with that glass. Ah, here we go. Put those up there and see what happens. <laughs> That's one way to make glitter. <laughs> Love it. All right, chat, don't forget there are morphing objects, so if you do spot it here in the scene, just uh, let me know. M morphing objects, collectibles, they are not spoilerish, so. Story based stuff, definitely spoilerish. It's been a long time, and I'm trying to enjoy the story. You're talking about the astronaut would be warm in that gar garment? Yeah, he needs to. Definitely get out of those hot clothes. What are we building here? Colored painting, okay. Um, I have a knife, what do I need to do with the knife? Not sure, oh, maybe cut the apple. Cut the apple? <laughs> Nice. A sickle and a helmet. A sickle and there's the helmet. And we need a colored painting. I like the winged lion. It is cool. Isn't there a name for this thing? I can't think of what it is. But there's a name for that kind of creature, isn't it? A mix between like an eagle and a lion. Oh, this is the painting, but I don't know how to make it colored. You're right, Grimy, but how do I make it colored? It's a griffin. Hmm, griffin. It's completely colorless. Griffin it is. All right, we're going to just call it a griffin. Oh, the morphing object. Okay, there's the brush. Where the... Oh, it goes here, I guess, right? No? Hmm. This music's keep me interested in what's going on here. Oh, we just magically painted. Gotcha. I was overthinking that one. Ceramic pieces. The heck are we building now? It's a fish and these are very tiny. Oh, okay. That actually made itself into a big piece. Love it. <laughs> I'm a little worried that we're going to spend a bunch of time, but this is great. I like this. Magic magnetic chunks. Love it. Well, that's interesting. Adventure section? Oh, we finally have a home for our mask. Oh, we've been carrying it around forever. What's going on here? What is that thing? The electron is so fast. <laughs> the heck is the electron doing here? Got me some old tiny guns. A rocket top half. Man, imagine the smell of these books. Damn. It looks like we're going to need a planet to go here. So I have the red book, which I think is going to... We got to go back where the owl is. It looks like a Quidditch ball. What's the... It's the snitch. Isn't that called a snitch? The golden snitch. 
So yeah, I think we got to go back to the bookshelf, which I think is over here somewhere. Because we got to get this thing lowered, I think. Where's the bookshelf? Maybe I'm wrong. Where is the bookshelf? Yeah, this here, Where we got to do that. Where the hell was that? Must be old book smell. It's not in there. I must be going crazy. I thought it was in the other area. It's here. Oh, right. It's up here. It's up here. Gotcha. 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 Yeah, yeah. Totally got it. Red book. Go. Oh, I got a stretch. Stretch like I've got handcuffs on. Oh. We got some more pretty glitter at the stained glass. Yay. I'm glad we got to revisit this scene. This is awesome. got a very pretty dress on. I'm assuming, so here's the thing that's kind of interesting, right? This may be the mother of the baby, but you see that necklace that she's wearing? It's the same as our necklace. The same freaking thing. So it's all in the family or something. Mm-hmm. So I need a butterfly. And a diamond. Moon is on the serpent. It is. Why do we have the necklace? It was a family heirloom that she's had forever. And she just wore it for good luck, but she didn't know much about it. That's basically the story so far. And now obviously we found out it's part of this mystery here. But we still have no idea what its purpose is. So I'm guessing this is like great grandmother or something? I don't know. Definitely something relatable, right? I'm guessing. Is that an ice cream cone and a pear? Remember the soccer ball was right there. Let's see. She's got a very lovely outfit on too. This is the OOTD for the game, I guess. Do we call it OOTD or do you just say fit? I don't know. What's the latest and greatest? Huh. Ice cream cone and a pear. Oh, yep. There's the pear. Beauty and the Beast vibes. Mixed in with some Sleeping Beauty, I think, maybe. I don't know. Ice cream's on the bottom right. Oh, bottom left. Oh. I don't see it. Oh, the right side middle screen is morphing. Morphing heart. Oh, there's the ice cream. We call it the OOTD? Okay. Oh, I call it that. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I don't see the morph. It's the blue pillar. What blue pillar? This is the ice cream right here. Oh, it's the apple, isn't it? I just saw it. Yay! 
We got it! We now have a magnet. Why do we have a magnet? That is a good question. Let's see what our map says. It says we gotta go back here. Maybe the magnet's gonna help us with the electron. Get over here, electron. <laughs> it's all charged up. And it's being very attractive right now. Electron. The flower pot could use some fresh flowers. I tried to make a milkshake earlier today, but it did not turn out right. Did it not bring all the boys to the yard, Kim? That's unfortunate. Ooh, look at Daddy must be a scientist. Pierre refused to give up on her, even when his doctor said there was no hope. Hmm. Even when there was no hope. Okay. I know I'm looking for this. I like these story-driven puzzles. These are cool. Or hidden object stories. Whatever. Oh, Jesus. More than one? Gotcha. He spent hours researching until he discovered the legend of the Rose of Life. Hmm. The legend of the Rose of Life. Look at this little buddy in here. How is it doing that without any legs? Daddy kind of looks like Gibbs. I guess. Cause I'm I'm actually doing that right now. Hmm. I'm thinking with my arm up. Finger on my chin. Okay, so I need another X. Gotcha. This magical flower had the ability to cure any disease simply by smelling its fragrance. It could cure any disease by smelling its fragrance. Wait, there's more than one mouse in here? Ah, gotcha. The Rose of Life only grew in a faraway kingdom, but it had not been seen for centuries. Pierre traveled to the farthest kingdom searching for the Rose of Life. As he walked, he carried a magical compass that would lead him to his heart's desire. As long as he focused on the rose, the compass would lead him to it. Aww. For days, he thought only of finding the rose, certain that he would find it for his love. He was thinking about love. It must have been exhausting. <laughs> Poor Pierre is so tired. Too much love. Okay, where does the electron go? These flowers. Needs the uh, tile. Oh, Pierre. Barbara, welcome in. How are you doing? Isn't thinking about love exhausting, or is that just me? I think the electron's gonna go there. Yay, electrons! Ooh, this thing is fancy. I like the steampunky feel of it. What have we got here? Let's put the uh, continent there. I guess it's supposed to be North America, right? Kind of, I guess. Or Panacea or something. No, it looks like North America. I don't know about this part. This part looks a little whack. 
This is definitely the Great Lakes, right? That's Florida. That's Mexico. Right? That's South America. Yes. Lasers. I like lasers. I think that's just you, Gibbs, with your love allergies. <laughs> so you're saying that feelings of love or energize you? Oh, we have a blue book now. An illustration is missing, but I think I see the parts scattered around. It's like, ah, chew. I'm definitely allergic to that. Okay, one more piece. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Very brooding clouds in the upper sky here. Where the hell is this last piece? Fragment sound? Oh, fragments found. Okay. <laughs> Come on, fragment. Where the hell are you? Oh, gotcha. Is it going to mix in some, like, science fiction now with the fantasy? Saturn medallion. Whoa, what the heck is going on here? This is wild. I don't think I'm ready for this, though. Ha! <laughs> Damn. A diamond? Nope. It keeps changing? Good lord. Okay, like a dipperish thing and an A. I'm not exactly sure if any of this is correct. Can I see it again? It's got a little triangle on it. Like, is it not... I don't think it's that one. Yeah, no. It's missing its extra bit there. This might be one of them. Yeah, okay, I thought so. Yay! Welcome back, Black Bowman. How are you doing? This is like Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, exactly. With the constellations, yeah. Did you get it to 100%, Stephanie? I thought you said you did, right? Okay, I need the letter. What do I need? This one. The triangle with the number 7 on it. This is it right here. Almost? Ah, very good. I think Tildy was saying that they, they got 100% like today. Okay, so this is upside down seven. A bunch of sevens, upside down sevens. Ugh. If I fail this, is it gonna set me back or what? This might be one here. What's the other one look like? Yes, you did. Ah, yeah, okay. It was you, Tildy. Ah, cool. Okay, so upside down seven. Kind of goes that way. I don't think it's that one, is it? No. It's got to be down and over. Okay. Let's see if we can find it over. Oh, I bet you that's it. Yay! One more time? Okay, one more time. Okay, triangle and then a straight line. Let's see. Might be this one. And now whatever this is. Oh my gosh. What is this? 